Okay, I made a rant video and now I wanna tag on something to the end of it here. So as I'm having this conversation in this hobby fruit growers group, where folks are, are talking about these two papers or the bloggers who talk about these two papers to make the claim that cardboard is unsafe in the garden. One of the claims, and I, again, I'm gonna get into it later, is this, this paper about oxygen transfer, very limited study. And, you know, I said, this is really doing a disservice to gardeners to tell them not to use cardboard based on unfounded claims that are not supported by the data. And the retort was, well, can't you just use hardwood wood chips, right? Like, yes, Ramiel wood chips, great, absolutely. I use them everywhere in my garden. There are many downsides, but I wanna clarify quickly here. The claim by the anti-cardboard group is that you need to use 12 inches of wood chips to get the same suppression as cardboard plus an inch or two of wood chips. So in this atrocious piece of journalism from the LA Times, they are talking about using wood chips in place of cardboard for effective weed barriers. And they quote Linda Chalker Scott, who is a horticulture professor and advisor at Washington State University's Puyallup Research and Extension Center. In a future video where I actually get into the scientific research, I'm going to be talking about how her claim here that her quote is supported by the scientific research is grossly exaggerated. But let me read her quote for this video. Basically scalp it, she said, cover the turf and or weeds with at least eight to 12 inches of fresh cut wood chips, then wait a month or two for the grass and or weeds to die. So when you make the claim that we don't need to use cardboard because we can just use wood chips, let's let's examine that for, for one second here. That sounds like a great plan if you live in a rural area and you have an expansive garden where you're mostly growing annuals probably, you could put down a foot of wood chips. Or where you have an orchard, you could put down a foot of wood chips if you don't need to roll machinery through. Oh, and let's keep in mind that mulching super deep around trees can actually cause problems of its own definitely don't volcano, but even around the drip line, mulching super deep with wood chips can cause its own problems. So, okay, well, we're looking at weed suppression with one foot of wood chips in a rural area spread out. But what about the fact that most of our gardeners are in urban or suburban spaces? I don't know about you, I don't have anywhere in my garden except down in the back in my orchard where I could put a foot of wood chips. Your average gardener, it's like it's totally impractical for them to use one foot of wood chips. Where, near their foundation? Where their garden bed will then have wood chips slumping into the path because you have your path and then you have a freaking foot of wood chips. It's, it's well and good to be an academic if you don't make claims that are not supported by the data. It's another thing to say like, okay, am I an academic completely detached from how people actually garden, completely detached from what works in people's yards? I talk a lot on this channel about how permaculture needs to be applicable in your life to your garden, or you're not gonna do it. You can have all of the handy dandy methods in the world. And if they aren't ones that you will actually utilize and don't work in your yard, you're not gonna see any benefit because you're not gonna use them. And this is one of those. I don't want 12 inches of wood chips up against my foundation. I cannot imagine if you live somewhere with termites that you want 12 inches of wood chips up against your foundation. But I grow plenty of plants there. And guess how I suppress weeds? Cardboard. Many places in my garden, I could not justify putting 12 inches of wood chips. Not to mention 12 inches is actually quite, quite effective in suppressing a number of weeds, a lot of weeds but it also suppresses herbaceous perennials and self-sowing annuals that I want to have in my garden. So what am I doing? I have this bed, imagine like a foot deep of wood chips and here's the surface level, right? And all my herbaceous perennials are all dormant here. Here's my wood chips. I have to dig down little tunnels to make sure that all my herbaceous perennials are not smothered by my mulch. What would that look like in the garden? And here in the Pacific Northwest, the rain would just wash all those wood chips back into the hole. Now I've lost thousands of dollars of perennials in my garden. It just seems so utterly unrealistic. So let's be careful when we're making overconfident claims that not only are not backed up by the research, but also are totally an impractical bit of advice for folks to use in real world situations. Great that you have this theoretical notion that a foot of wood chips would be fantastic. I don't know if you're a gardener and you think that a foot of wood chips is easily applicable in your urban or suburban garden, or you do it and it works great for you. I would love to hear how that is going down below in the comments. So please share. 
Thanks for letting me make two rant videos about this. If you haven't seen the first one, please go back and watch. And if you haven't seen my original video on how cardboard is actually safe to use in the garden and how the certain professors are making claims that are not substantiated by the literature, please go check out that video. I'm looking forward to talking more about this issue because for me as a permaculturist, I want something to be reproducible for folks. I want something to be accessible, reproducible, affordable, and something that people can do within the context of their real life. Cardboard is readily available in ur urban and suburban areas. It is free, it is highly effective, and it means that folks don't have to use plastic and they don't have to use herbicides. And all of those are big bonuses. So I wanna make sure that folks are not scared away by fear mongering claims about how you can't use cardboard. And they're not pressured into feeling that they have to use something like 12 inches of wood chips, which would be utterly impractical and create more problems than it solves for most people. Thanks again for watching. Please click like and subscribe. That would be awesome. And I'll be back really soon.